Alright, well. Do we really need to open that door? I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother opening that door. Do you think I should open that door? Because I need to open that door again. You think I should? I kinda want to. You never know. I might, like, need it later on, you know? I might need it to be open. No? You, you don't think I should? I don't have to. I'm here, though. Well, I guess I'm going to. Too late. It's too late. I'm here. Let's, let's go. Let's leave. Let's exit. Stage right. I'm not running because I don't want to make a lot of noise. I am walking. Like so long too. Like it takes so long for the door to actually open after that too. All right. The thing is, Craig, it's it's it sounds not as loud for you because uh, you're listening to it via a limiter. It's it's hitting the limiter every single time, and it sounds a lot louder for me. Which is why I keep on wanting to turn it down. No. Speaker, we're not going to lure him out at all. We're just going to we're just going to do one of these. Yes. 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 I think doing the speaker is like a bad thing. Close, please. Please close. Thank you. <laughs> Shit. Hey, look, there's people here. Hey. Axel, is that you? Are you alive again? Hello? No, it's... My name's Hello? Ripley. Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder Seekson is losing the tech race. Yeah, we got friggin' uh, what's his face on the ship? It looks better than that. The alien is friendly with people who like classic rock. Entirely possible. It sounds pretty quiet now, but like when it gets, when it get, when an alien shows up or some word or whatever, it's like, it's just killing my ears every single time. Well, there's some androids around there. Dixon made them stupid and useless. Entirely possible. They're supposed to be hooked up to the mainframe, right? Like, they're not even individually controlled, are they? I mean, they're not like... They don't have their own brains, right? Like, they might have, like, simple stuff for, like, moving around. 
I need to get into comms control. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency. Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo has the situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. I wouldn't advise it. Yeah, well, I wouldn't advise your face, but here we are. We got a piece of paper. Motion tracker? Sure, we'll grab that in a second. We'll grab that after we grab everything else in the room. There we are. Nope, oh, nothing else. All right. Androids go hostile on a human? I don't think so, Craig. That's not going to happen. That's that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. That's just stupid, to be honest. It's just stupid. I resent the implication. Uh, I want... <laughs> I can turn off the lighting, but that's not really going to help. Relay access... I can't, uh, I thought maybe I could use one of these to turn on the, um... The computer here, but it doesn't look like I can do that. It's just speaker access or lighting. Nothing affects the computer. Some kind of tracker. It's been modified. Cool, cool, cool. Who wants me to do it? Can't, can't, can't not do it. It wants me to do it. Is there a problem? No, what no problem. Good. Yeah, see, they're not, they're not hostile. I don't know what you mean. Door override. Hughes, I put a manual lock on the door leading upstairs. Don't want any accidents. So we figure out what's going on here. Signed, the chief. There no such file. Uh, shared. Our manifesto first published on I on Siegson, Feb 2115. We don't want to show you a new world. We want to discover it with you. Here at Siegson, every new, new technology, research project, and discovery is driven to find real-world applications to help you. We hope you'll join us for the journey. Also, together tomorrow, Siegson's journey to colonial space, an official history by Sebastian Sieg, first printed in I on Siegson. 2034. 2034 changed everything. The advent of faster than light travel put Siegson, then known as Sieg and Sun, on the path to success. The race into space began in earnest, and under the steady hand of our founder, Josiah Sieg, our company was primed and ready for the years that followed. Sieg and Sun build, built the components that enabled ships to extend colonial space beyond the solar system. As history relates, Wayland Corp was reluctant to share its FTL technologies with other corporations. Fortunately, Josiah Sieg was on hand to speculate, innovate, and produce. Without Sieg and Son, the skies would have looked very different indeed. Indeed. Marie, if you get this, I'm making my way to Sieg's and communications now. I didn't wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. Please understand, this is our best shot. Someone has got to reestablish communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. Don't worry about me. I'll be back. I'm not going to leave you and Claire alone. Spoilers, I don't think he made it back. Nice. I don't know why they changed the name. Uh, you know what? What I what I was just thinking just now. These locked doors. I can't go in any of them. What is this again? This is a rewire. Yeah, it's just rewires. Terminals. This item tool weapon. Do I want to go over there? Go back. Uh, I was thinking. Uh, isn't it like a um? I don't know if it was like a a, a real intended thing. Or if it was just one of those Easter eggs that people latch onto and like 
obsess over and, and think that is a real thing, even though it was literally just an Easter egg. Isn't Raylan Yutani, like, uh, uh, and or was, isn't Alien and Blade Runner in, like, the same universe? Or was that just, um, coolant maintenance? Or is that just, uh, you know, is it just an Easter egg? I mean, obviously, it wasn't in the original book or anything like that. Obviously not. But, like, it, the cinematic universe. Are they the same? Are they, are they are they together? Torch. Interesting. So I'll be back here at some point. My trusty ion torch. Uh, speaking, speaking of, what is this tool that's over here that is supposedly right here? Uh, where is it? Where's helmet? It is up here. It is over here. Oh, there was a map here. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Got it. Got it. So, yeah, I just want to go up here and go that way. Cutting areas since I can't use. All right. You don't want to go back to, uh, to reception, that's for goddamn sure. Alright, let's go. Like, really what I mean to say is, has there been any, like, EU fiction regarding that? Like, is it, is it, has it, is it just contained to the Easter eggs of the movies? Or have have there been any like novels or any like short stories based on Blade Runner and uh, an alien taking place in the same universe? Probably hasn't, but you know, interesting to think about it anyway. By last two, do you mean Prometheus and Alien, or do you mean Alien 3 and Alien 4? People generally don't like those movies either. I haven't actually seen uh, the latest, the absolute latest Alien movie. I saw Prometheus, uh, but I never saw, I know I could have gone in there. This way, but I haven't actually seen the the newer one, Covenant. I haven't seen that one. Really, Scott is not, um, you know, perfect. Missing a uh, sensor. It'd be cool if I could make a sensor. Too bad I, I I didn't pick up those sensors back then. Well, I mean I couldn't because I was full. I really want to go all the way back, which I don't really want to do. I mean, you know, we'll go back at some point. But. This is always like different. No consistency in the in the interactables. I, 
haven't seen his new uh, thing. What was it uh, raised by wolves? Surprise loot. I've heard good things though. I'm maxed on charge packs. What do I need charge packs for? down there shriven balls Jesus Christ yes I am why let me in I need to contact my ship why not okay thanks there's gotta nice be to another be way inside <laughs> find another way inside all right there has to be another way inside. Find another way inside. Uh, we go here. You always know a working Joe. Uh, 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 damn. Uh, 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 there's like lag. There we go. Got a bit of lag on that. What would happen if I, like, completely failed? Too much, uh, too much scrap. I don't have enough scrap capacity. Let me pass. It's me, Hughes. Don't you recognize me? Listen to me. We've got to re-establish long-range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Get back! I'm warning you! Tut, tut. This is all this anarchy. Jesus Christ. Oh, TJ for shooting me. Oh my god. Good day to you, sir. Okay, noted. Aim for the head. Aim for the head. Don't, don't accidentally shoot them. Purposely shoot them. Right in their noggin. Okay, maybe I don't, yeah, I don't want to be detected. something with this? No. Can't do anything with it. Alright. Oh, it only it didn't even go to the vent. Alright. That's fine. I do want to go that way at some point. Let's go this way. Take all this shit. Let's look at some lore while we're here. Why not? I'm I'm full on bonding agent. Uh, let's make another med kit. Sure. Uh, let's go back to the revolver. Your log message. Sensitive corporate information has been automatically detected in a Sevasto link message recently sent from this terminal. This event has been logged by Apollo on behalf of Seekson. If you have any further questions, please. Talk to your line manager or your nearest representative. Riggs. Murtaugh. Are you still working down in Seeks and Communications? Remember that trouble you got into last year? The trouble I helped you out of? Well, it's time to repay the favor. 
One of my colleagues has been looking into some of the import, import documents and found a few problems. He's new, so he doesn't understand how we do things on Sevastopol, and he's threatening to go to wait about it. This could hurt us all, so I need you to keep an eye on him. See if anything interesting comes up. Apollo has cameras everywhere. It just needs someone to tell it where to point to. His name is Daniel Halden. Lives in Josiah Sig Executive Apartments. Sig? And not Sieg? Uh, 651. If this does well, I might have some work for you. We could clean up here. Yeah, just don't become hysterical. It's fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. We're corrupted. Utility. Nothing. Of this, because that's the whole reason that we made that medicine. It did say avoid detection, so there has to be like some extra loot or something over here, right? Camera feed. I also don't like that I have to um, press a button to get out of that. That was a little loud. I hope there's nothing up there that's loot worthy because I don't really want to go up there. I had to disable the camera. I was thinking maybe I could just go Come through on. the, you know, go right through the door, but nope, gotta wait. It's fine. what she was saying, but it looks like that was it. I want to go up there, but like... There, there are a robot up there, you guys. There are a robot there. But there's also loot up here. It wants me to go that way. Because there's loot. I've got so much loot that I don't even need it. I, I like I literally cannot use any more loot, and yet here I am trying to get the loot. I think I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, uh, the thing is, being a loot whore so far, because of my limited inventory, is not really helping me that much. So I'm just gonna go. We'll, uh, figure out where I wanna go. Access. It's like an open door, and yet it says no access. It's fine. We're gonna go to the communications. Successfully communicate. External communications disabled by order of Apollo. Facility what? offline. All outgoing communications halted. Oh, that's just great. Internal communications open on limited channels. Gotta 
be someone on this station I can contact. Uh, I can turn the camera feed off, I guess. The air purification one. I want to go in here. Do I know where this goes? Who's over here? Lore. Lore's over here. Nice sensor. I need that. <laughs> Full on scrap, though. Uh, what can I make with a sensor? Uh, Noisemaker, smoke bomb, flash bomb. What do I want? What do I want to use? Noisemaker is probably good to use. The old, uh, you know, throw a rock. Oops. What did I do? It's okay. I still have... Wait, did that not cost me scrap to make that? It did, and yet... Make another one. Would be this one, this one, this one. Got it. Uh, Torrens Hail. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair. Registration number, blah, blah, blah. We have a controller carrying three passengers. You're holding the Stormo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the presence port side over. That's what they said uh, earlier, right? This is the exact same. Clear registration number MSB 7760 calling Sebastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a Wayland Utani bond. You're holding this is what she just now said. Unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. Oh, and this is what uh, the guy said in, in response, but we couldn't hear him. This is Waits, Colonial Marshal at Sebastopol Station. We have a serious situation here. Non-local comms are down, and we need you to send out an emergency message. Do you read me? Repeat, our ranged communications are down, and we need help. Stand off and send help. Well, if only we had actually heard that. If only the message wasn't so garbled. Anything else to do in here? Just like a little bit of like ambient light makes it like okay for me not to use a uh, a flare or flashlight. God, why did I go here? Um, point of interest over there on the. I think that's where I want to go. Alternatively, I could go that way, which might be where I want to go. Let's go see what's over here at the point of interest. Point of interest? Can I go, like, on the other side? No. Hmm. I don't want to use the, uh, the elevator again, you know? I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go. I'll have to use that at some point. <laughs> she needs to leave space to repair. Yeah, I, I... I get it. Any excuse to have me be even more alone. The game is called Alien Isolation. I am isolated, I suppose. He was over there first. Oh shit, there's a robot here. This could require my attention. What are you doing here? No. Uh how am I wait, how do I fire my gun? Oh there we go. Jesus Christ. I really thought... 
No, it's not dead. I really thought... Oh, I'm supposed to hit E. God, that's so small. Why is that so small? It's fine. You know what? If they're gonna continue to just walk... If they're gonna try Jason me to death... And then I'll just, uh... I'll just run. How about that? Well, I'm dead. No, I'm dead. If the game had told me how to use this gun, it would be it would be great. Now I know, but I'm just saying. Also, you really would have thought that uh, I would be able to kill them with like a couple of a nice, well placed uh, headshots, but but no, apparently shooting them five times in the head, not enough. At least I know now not to bother going to the left. I will just go to the right. Kind of seems like I should be able to get down there somewhere, somehow, but... I don't know. Yeah, those guys should be, definitely be dead, but they're, they're not going to be dead. He's fine. This guy's gonna move, but that's fine as long as he doesn't turn this way. Max on scrap, that's fine. Okay, where am I going? Doesn't seem like it matters. Maybe I want to go down and see what's down there. Monitoring hall. I can hide in here. It's good to know. No movement. Must not be anybody here. Yes. Yes. Hello. Okay. I will. Son of a bitch. That was a person. Well, a robot person. I don't think that I can, like hit the androids. <laughs> you know, I don't think that I can, uh... Where's that coming from? I thought it would, would have been coming from here, but I'm getting closer and closer as I go this way. My stereo isn't like reversed. No, I think it's coming from Oh, this guy's dead. I think okay. The E the E thing is like too It's too small. I guess this is the the, the side effect of playing this at 4K. The the E prompt is very small. Unfortunate, but fine. You know, I can manage. How did that guy not see me? <laughs> How did he not see me? How do I get in there? There's a map thing there.
poking my head through the <laughs> stuff. That's fine. Let us go all the way over here. They won't see me here. Um. Uh, there's a there's a vent I can use. It's over here. Other than a bright, blinding light. <laughs> yeah, that robot became hysterical. It's fine. You know, it happens. It happens with robots. You never know when they're going to get hysterical. There's nothing here. It's just like another way to go. This guy is going to come back in a second. I'm sure of it. Or not. You know what? Let's just go this way. So there was a vent there, or I can just go right in through the door. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just go in through the door. Where does this door go? It goes here. Can I get in here? Maybe I did want to go through the vent. So I can get into that room. You know what? Let's do it. There's some lore in there. Let's get the lore. Let's get the lore in this room. Locked. Can't get in here anyway. Hopefully. All right. Um. Operation not permitted. Operation not permitted. Receive transmission. Sebastopol. This is Wayland Utani Executive Administrator Nina Taylor confirming receipt of your transmission. I'm a member of the team assigned to collect the Nostromo flight recorder. The black box in your possession is of primary importance to Wayland Utani. Under existing corporate agreements, we should remind you that you must not attempt to read its contents, nor disclose its presence to any third parties. We'll be with you soon. A private message for Marshal Waits will follow. Hmm. Sebastopol, this is no. Wayland Utani Executive Administrator Nina Taylor, confirming receipt of your transmission. I'm a member of the team assigned to collect the Nostromo flight recorder. You think it's, um, they tried to read it and it, like, automatically erased the, the data or something? Under existing corporate agreements, you think that's what happened? we should remind you that you must not attempt to read its contents, nor disclose its presence to any third... Uh, this goes here, which might be we'll interesting be to... Soon. A private message from Marshal Waits will follow. Take a look at Safe one over there. Definitely need that. Oh, God, I'm so. I'm still. Hold on a minute. Uh, if only I could make a uh, revolver ammo, right? Let's see what else I can make. I'm running out of. Um, yeah, I don't have. I don't have some stuff. I can make more med kits, I guess. I can make more flares. I haven't really been using flares. Am I, am I tapped out on medkits? I am. Alright. I maxed on flares, and I can't make anything else. Okay. Sure, I wonder if, uh, if limits, if, um, inventory limits are, uh, are a product of, of hard mode. Let us turn off camera feed and turn on door access. Oh, I can't. I need to turn off. Sure, I'll turn off the alarm system. Why not? Camera feed, turn on door access. EMP. 
that's something new I can make, but I brought I bet I can't make one. Yeah, I need uh sensors and I need I need two sensors and three charge packs. Wow, expensive. It's expensive. Expensive bitch. Almost done for the night. That's a little bit of time. It's good because I'm, I'm hungry. I'm still hungry. I'm hungry in real life, and I'm hungry in the game because I still have not eaten since waking up. I woke up and I immediately just stuff happened and I couldn't eat. Sucks. Sucks a lot. balance values. And here I am. Up and up and down doesn't do anything. Do I need to balance the values down? How does this work? Oh, there we go. Dispatching move keys when circuit is active. Oh, I see. Christ. It's it's a puzzle machine. It's all puzzles. That's all they, they do. Lose move keys of highlight values enter to confirm. It's not even puzzle, it's it's like skill base right now. It's like I gotta get it timed. Sure. Got that one. And the way computers actually work in the future. Man, I don't want to be a part of it. Oh, I can go up and down. Oh, son of a bitch. I didn't realize I could go up and down. All right. Oh, we got to go up. And this, like, stops, so. Got it. All right. Another, another balancing thing. Got it. Oh, I see. Samuels, I was doing it wrong the first time. You're alive. It's Ripley. Ripley. Taylor, it's Ripley. We were getting worried. We I thought... made it. Where are you? Uh, we're at a transit station now. It's right by medical. Okay. Samuels, listen to me. It's not safe here. Siegson's got this place locked tight. Their goddamn androids are killing people. Yell louder, That's please. It's contrary to primary synthetic programming. I've seen it, Samuels. I guess Siegson's got a different idea about synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature. It's a life form. A, an unknown type. Some kind of morph, alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley, need to make... Taylor is hurt. She was injured by debris during the crossing. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the And injury. the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact Verlaine. We're on our own. Shit. Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. I'll send a transit car to you. Wait. I don't know this. How about I don't wait? How about I just leave? Here? Let's just go in here. We'll just go into the end of the vents. It's fine. It's safe in the vents, right? Completely 100% safe in the vents. Nothing else uses, the, uses these vents, right? Nothing else. Only me. Only I do. Oh, good. I'm glad that I'm here. I'm super glad that I chose to come into here. How did that guy not see me? That guy, like, closed his eyes when he walked through the door. <laughs> GNR interrupt engaged. Stand 
Did he like look at me and then keep going? Is that what happened just now? Um, I want to probably go around. Can I go around this way? I can't. Can I? Oh, yes, I can. I can because I can. Um, yeah. There's that thing. Yeah, we'll do that. Where am I going? I just, I'm just leaving. Still not running. I still don't want to run, but I will walk. Do it a little faster. They see me. And so this guy can see me from all the way across there, but they don't see me when they're like two feet in front of me. Got it. I got it, game. I understand. Do you think he's still following me? He lost him. He lost him. Yep. All right, I was gonna go hide somewhere if if he was not following me anymore, but turns out. I mean, I could ask you about that, but I don't know why I would would want to do that. What? Maybe he didn't see me. <laughs> He didn't see me. Now, where did you go? I need to speak to you. No, you don't. You don't need to seek me. You <laughs> said six word waste to company time. Am I? I'm not going to leave until the door closes. Where am I going? Uh, I need to go. It doesn't matter. Either way. Either way is fine. Let's go this way. That guy sees me. But it's fine. I'm not over there. It's fine. Central Communications. Seeks and employees only. I will find you. If only I could slide across the desk. It's fine. We're here. We're here now. <laughs> Alright. Alright. We did it. Now I have to go all the way through alien infested territory to get back to that central hub. Um. Alright, so... Turn to seeks and comms to escape. I just have to make it through all of this. Fun, I wonder if I should go ahead and, um... Go through here... <laughs> you speak to my manager. I thought that was me. My name's not Karen though. My name my name's Amanda. Amanda Hug and Kiss. Amanda Hug and Kiss Ripley. 
Amanda H. Ripley. Oh, that was weird. I saw something. There we go. Well, I don't see anything. Still maxed on scrap. I wish I wasn't maxed on scrap. Casings are I didn't notice before. Continue to. Am I really full on charge packs? Wait a minute, can I make something? Can I make a uh, EMP mine? No, I still need one um, sensor. Yeah. Um. I was gonna say maybe it should go through there, but no, I think I'm just gonna go the direct way. A save. A save point. We're, gonna save. We're not going to end it just net. Though. We're going to end it at probably the next save point. Are we going to see some epic, like, android versus alien fights? Because that'd be kind of cool. I know there's loot over there, but... I'm, I'm just so full on loot. It might be a sensor, but to be honest, I'm fine. Okay, I'll let you know. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that like. Is that like the android's way of getting me to, to to speak up? Like, okay, I'll let you know. Oh, there you are. Uh, so I just have to go all the way around this hallway. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think that I can go into this vent because I don't think I can go into this vent without the 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 cutter. Um, I think that's what this is for. Um, I could go in here, but I don't know why I would would want to go in there because there's there's not a good. That leads to that leads to where some androids are. Um, so I'll just go through the hallway. Let's let's wait on this guy. Apollo and the working Joe working together for a safe and better connected Sebastopol. Right there. I like I could go. I'm just not sure if he's gonna turn this way again. I'm just gonna wait. They say he's not gonna come down here. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. He he's gonna turn around this time, right? He's gonna turn around this way, but the question is, is he going to come directly down the hall, or is he going to go down in the little maintenance tunnel? He's going to come directly down the hall. Perfect. I think we can go now. I don't think he's going to turn this way again. Just in case, I will uh, duck behind here. Let's try it. Ooh, why 
didn't that guy see me? It's because it's dark here. That's why. We don't forget the little details when seeing the big picture. Yeah, I'm sure. Is he just gonna stand there forever? He might just stand there forever. I might have to. Yep, he's just standing there forever. Let's um, let's do one of these. Over there. I feel like I should be able to throw other things. I feel like I shouldn't have to rely on uh, futuristic technology to get their attention. I feel like I should be able to throw like a wrench or a you know a screwdriver or something. You know what I mean? Like why do I have? Why does it have to be a noisemaker specifically? Uh, look, uh, dead end. Why did I go next to the android? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I even bother doing that? Medkit. Med medkit. I'm pressing R. Medkit. Thank you. Why? Why? Why would I have done that? Tell me. Tell me why I would have done that. Can I get through any of these doors now? Let me go check real quick. I'll be careful. No. Alright. I was pretty sure this one was just like regular locked. I couldn't open it. Yeah. But even anything in there? I don't see anything. I think it's just set dressing. Alright, let's go. Let's get this shit out of here. We're in relative safety. I say that even though this is where the alien was, but you know what? It's fine. We're gonna stop. It's time to stop. I'm gonna stop for, for tonight. We're gonna continue this next week. We're going to pick up where we left off. I didn't want to stop before then because I didn't want it to, you know, we're still in a bit of a tense situation, but it's not as tense. So, Station serving yeah, to go that way. Tech Next week. Next week we will uh, continue on with more spoops. Hello? Are you guys going to shoot me? No, it's fine. Hi. Guys? <laughs> hey, guys. Are these, these are the guys that I knocked out. And now they're, now they're alive. See, they're alive. They're alive. I didn't knock them out. They're alive. Weird. I thought they, they would shoot me. Anyway, uh, this week we're playing System Shock 2 on Wednesdays. So expect to see more sci-fi corridors with, with scary monsters. Um, and, and, and so it's just gonna be, that's gonna be Spooktober, that's, that's gonna be the entire Spooktober, it's just sci-fi corridors. Dark sci-fi corridors. 